Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about progression. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I want to be a software developer. Does the job get interesting as you progress through it, or does it get repetitive and boring? Both. Both, I would say. It completely comes down to what type of person you are and what you find repetitive and boring, but I can promise you it's going to get boring at some point. The, everything gets boring if you do the exact same thing over and over. The one thing I can tell you though, which is very nice about software development, is that it is literally so big that if you find the spark for learning new things and you want to find challenges, you can keep yourself occupied. Oh God! You can keep yourself occupied. You can keep like there are so many things you can be doing. But I want like it really comes down to what do you find repetitive? What do you find boring? If uh, changing your role is the thing that you really want, well, then I'm gonna be, have to disappoint you slightly because uh, it doesn't take more. In a, on average, to get really good at a specific role, like if you're being a, if you're a front end or a back end or a DevOps person or whatever you might be, it doesn't take all that long to master a role. Well, I want to say master might be a strong word, but at the very least, you get to a point where you can be very productive in the average work circumstances, and then you can go into fancier things like machine learning or performance or system levels development and so forth. Like uh, it, on average, it takes a software developer to get fairly self-reliant and good at software development between one to five years. I would say closer to five years if you want to be a, if you want to be eligible to call yourself a senior anything closer to five years for at the very minimum. I mean a senior can also be someone with 10, 15 years and so forth but it, you will see a drop off in return on investment the more years you spend because you're simply mastering you've mastered the thing that you're doing to the point where it's really only you doing the same thing over and over again and it doesn't take like forever to learn that I know that it might feel that way when you start out that it's like this big super area where everything you, with millions and millions of things are to learn and sure to a point that is true but you will also re realize that you don't have to learn everything it's not every not everything is irrelevant to you. It's of no interest. It's similar to learning a language. Usually, you can consider yourself fairly fluent in a spoken language without actually knowing all the words. Heck, I don't know all the words in Swedish. Fuck no. I like I'm born and raised in Sweden, but I don't know all the words. And nobody who wants to speak this language would have to learn all the words. Same thing with software development. There's more stuff out there than you will ever find use for. I promise you. But with that said, you can absolutely keep yourself busy, but you won't need to be the sort of person who actually enjoys it. And that's the thing that I can't really tell you whether or not you're going to enjoy it. Because uh, if you ask me if, so, if work can get repetitive and boring, yes, for sure it can. Because most of what you're doing on the day in the daily grind is going to be a repeat of a very, very similar problem that you've already had. Uh, many days it's very refreshing because you have new features and you have to tweak things and you have to think and you have to be stimulated and so forth. So if you really like concentrating for long periods of time and kind of going into your zone and just solving problems, then I can mean for me it's like it's practically meditation many times. The, the only time I really find like, I find my job boring is when I have to translate shit. It is the worst process there is and there is no way to to make it fun you sit there and you take this text here needs to be this string or that this var variable should be this string it should say this and then you because you're an idiot you have to go and sh spell check yourself on Google a hundred times and then you need to go and talk to the translating people and say are you sure that this is the thing that you want because they're supposed to give you translations in these languages but they've only given you them in English and now you don't speak French so you need to go and check with them which delays you even further and there's no other work to pick up so you just kind of sit there with your with your your own thoughts and you start evaluating what, what the fuck you're doing what where did everything go so wrong and you do this for several days because they literally whenever you ship anything in an international product that is user facing there are 
text changes. Many, many, many text changes. And it is completely like you, you just there's no thought process to it whatsoever. It's like it's like licking envelopes or something or like sending out video, you know, the wedding invitations to a wedding that's not your wedding to make it even worse. Uh, so yes, it can ge get extremely repetitive and boring uh, if it wants to. But on the plus side, if you're good, if you're really good and you really push yourself and you get yourself involved with the right people, you can find that it's so stimulating all the time. There's all there's so many areas and if you're a little bit of a wide jack of, tra jack of all tra trades type of person and you enjoy that there are so many things that you can be working on at the same time but sometimes you just kind of have to bite the bullet and do the boring shit as well even if you're really really trying your best is to train this naive little junior over here who wants to prove himself to take all that shit from you he thinks he's, 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 uh, he's going to progress, but you're going to stick him with all the boring stuff for the rest of his career. So what, you want, what I want you to take away from this is that work can absolutely, as you progress and you get better at software development, get really, really boring. And it re kind of comes down to who you are as a person. If you want to learn all the things, you can keep yourself busy for practically the rest of your life. Uh, but you should know that that also entails not just technical tasks that might be useful on a daily basis. It also requires it, 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 that because that stuff that you can learn, you can actually learn in not that many years. I'm talking like you're going to be able to master most of what most developers do within say at say 10 20 years tops like I'm, I'm not saying that you will be the best ever at it but i mean it will not take much more than five years to learn one area of it uh, to the point where you're considered to be a professional by practically everybody who can do most work it's not that like the it's not that challenging in comparison to learning like all the things because then you have advanced really advanced topics that may not be relevant to you on a daily basis but are still extremely interesting that you can pursue and sometimes things are just really really repetitive and boring because the task that you have to do is really repetitive and boring and that's when you try to get good get really good in good with the interns or like a junior programmer or something like that because if they think that they need to prove themselves to you that's the best thing ever because then you give them all of this stuff and they will just do it with a smile on their face and you can go and have a coffee and then work on something interesting have a great day